which completely changed the way how I took action. At 21, I went from a few hundred euros in my bank account to hitting multi six figures. It took me three years and during this period I had times where my family did not even have hot running water because we could not afford to buy a new boiler. Today, I'm going to share six habits that made this possible for me, habits that helped me get where I am today. To succeed financially, you have to unlearn the limiting beliefs taught by traditional school systems. They often condition us to chase paycheck, accept and normalize debt, and follow a single path. This system determines your worth based on a piece of paper and pushes the idea of working hard for someone else rather than creating your own opportunities. It overlooks practical skills like teaching you how to invest, reduce taxes and apply critical thinking instead of just teaching you that following the norm is the only path forward. All of this results in having thousands of people taking on debt to follow studies, buy cars and houses which limit their flexibility in life and increases the risk of making them chained to a job that ultimately makes them unfulfilled and unhappy. So start re-educating yourself on financial topics like investments and apply critical thinking. The more you unlearn these limiting beliefs, the more open you will be to wealth building strategies. After we learned to question old beliefs and challenge the status quo, the question becomes but how do you actually build a new learning base? And that's where habit number two comes in. To change my mindset, I had to start conditioning myself with the right knowledge. Surrounding myself with successful ideas and practical knowledge was essential to developing something that I like to refer to being street smart, which is one type of intelligence. Habits are shaped by beliefs, values, and past experience. That's why, for example, a person who grew up in a wealthy family may have formed a belief that money is easily attainable and formed habits around that belief. While a person who grew up in a less financially well-off family may have formed a belief that money is hard to come by and formed habits around that. So belief. the goal is always to embrace your current situation and use it as a motivation to get started and form the right habits to become successful if you are not already. This is what I essentially did and what you can do too. After embracing my situation with a goal in mind to stop being broke, I started to develop the habit of reading a lot of books about psychology, business and finance and then also watching YouTube videos from people who accomplished what I was looking for. From there I went through a personal development phase where I started looking more into personality tests like MBTI or Enneagram to learn more about myself. This habit was really the only way helping me believe that wealth was possible for me which completely changed the way how I took action. I want to share with you an interesting psychological insight into how our brain works. Imagine you talk to a friend about yellow cars and suddenly you start noticing them everywhere. This isn't a coincidence, it's your subconscious mind directing your attention. By conditioning your mind to focus on success, you can use the same effect to notice opportunities and pathways that bring you closer to your goals almost intuitively. Habit number three, start messy. One of the biggest mistakes I made was waiting for the perfect start. It's easy to think that you need the right setup, the perfect tools, or just a little bit more of knowledge, but this can really trap you into inaction. In the book, Living the Art of the Good Life, the author actually shares a pretty good analogy. He explains that a plane flying from London to New York never follows its original flight path perfectly. Instead, it constantly makes thousands of small corrections to stay on course. This shows that progress isn't about a flawless start, it's about adjusting as you go. The perfect start is just simply a myth. Start now and adjust along the way. Focus on progress over perfection and remember that every small step It's counts. important to keep in mind that this will be an ongoing effort with everything new that you want to start. For example, till this date, I'm doing this with my YouTube channel. Even though I have this goal already for some years, my focus is always to have the perfect camera setup, be perfect at speaking to the camera, but what really matters is just starting. Habit number four, stay the course. Motivation is like a quick caffeine boost, temporary and fleeting. But consistency and showing up every day, especially when it's hot, is what really drives progress and motivation alone fades pretty fast. This might seem obvious, but it's really essential to remember, especially when you hit those tough moments. And I still struggle with consistency in some areas, like going to the gym sometimes, but then stay overall consistent with my larger goals in business. 
So set small daily or even weekly goals. And even if you are only making slight progress, it all adds up and compounds over time. Habit number five, take the vitamin N and learn how to say no. As you grow, people will share opinions about what you are doing. But not everyone's advice is valuable and learning to say no is essential to staying focused. Avoid advice from people who haven't achieved your goals as they may lack the experience to provide any useful insights. Respect opinions but prioritize guidance from those who have walked the path you are on. Filter advice carefully and listen to people who have achieved what you want and take the rest with a grain of salt. Learning to say no helped me cut out distractions and focus on building my own path. Habit number six, strength in support. To grow fast, you need to delegate tasks that aren't your strength. I learned that I could achieve more by working with others instead of trying to do it all myself. Platforms like Upwork or Fiverr allow you to access skilled talent from around the world at competitive rates. Delegating tasks lets you focus on high impact activities, accelerating your own growth. So you can identify along your own way your strengths and outsource time consuming tasks that you just simply do not like to do. This frees up your energy and allows you to move faster and focus on what really matters most. To give you an example, I will probably hire now a freelancer that can edit my YouTube videos for me so that I can focus only on preparing and recording the videos saving me countless of hours. This habit has been a real game changer and enabled me to focus on the big picture work that drove my business and life forward. If this habit resonated with you, I really recommend you watch my YouTube video about the book called E-Myth that goes far more into depth into this concept. Before I end this video, I will leave you with one of my favorite quotes from Steve Jobs. Thanks for watching.